hair today, gone tomorrow, but with wigs, it's always a good hair day. Hair is not just a mere accessory that we sport to add to our physical appearance. It is a powerful symbol loaded with complex and intricate meanings. The role of hair in our lives is vast and varied. We perceive it as an extension of our identity, a formative part of our self-image, impacting, impacting the way we perceive ourselves and how others perceive us. It's not only a symbol of beauty, but it also represents strength, power and status. Historically, hair has been recognized as a symbol of fertility, health and even wealth in various cultures. It's a reflection of one's personality, cultural background and personal style. Hair signifies youth, vitality and attractiveness. In essence, our hair speaks volumes about us even before we utter a word. More than this, hair holds a profound significance in our society. Its absence or presence, length or shortness, color or texture all convey strong messages. We use it as a canvas to express our creativity and individuality. Moreover, it has deep religious and spiritual connotations in many cultures worldwide. Sacred scriptures, ancient legends and popular folklore stories where hair plays a pivotal role. However, sometimes we are confronted with situations where this symbol, so cherished and celebrated, is taken away. It could be due to illness, age, genetics, or a choice to alter one's appearance. The loss or absence of hair can lead to emotional distress, affecting one's self-esteem and confidence. It can stir feelings of vulnerability and a loss of identity. This is when we step into the world of wigs. Wigs have been in existence for centuries, providing solutions to those who've lost their hair or desire a change. They have been an integral part of fashion, theater, law, and even politics. They've been worn for protection, style, disguise, and ceremonial occasions. Wigs have seen the fall of empires, witnessed revolutions, and have themselves undergone transformations. The wig industry is an ancient one, shaped by and shaping societal norms and fashion trends. Wigs have evolved from being a status symbol in ancient Egypt to a style statement in Elizabethan England, to a necessity in chemotherapy treatments today. They have adapted to changing trends, technologies and needs. On the personal front, wigs can offer a newfound sense of freedom, confidence and empowerment. They allow individuals to experiment with different looks, indulge in fashion trends or simply regain what was lost. They can restore an individual's self-esteem and provide a sense of normalcy in challenging times. Wigs are not just about covering the bald. They encapsulate stories of courage, resilience and adaptability. The fascinating world of wigs is a testament to human ingenuity and our adaptability. It shows how we can turn adversity into opportunity, loss into gain and change into continuity. So hair today, gone tomorrow, but with wigs, it's always a good hair day. This centuries-old industry that has shaped and been shaped by societal norms, fashion trends and personal needs continues to inspire. In the grand hair story of humanity, wigs have a hairy special place. They are not just artifacts of fashion or objects of utility. They are historical markers that trace the evolution of societal norms, societal structure and technological advancement. Let's delve a bit deeper into the annals of history and take a journey back to the ancient land of Egypt. Here, along the banks of the Nile, under the watchful gaze of the Sphinx, wigs found their first known usage. But why did the Egyptians, a civilization known for its technological innovation and sophistication, resort to using wigs? The answer lies in the simple yet relentless force of nature, the searing sun. In a land where the sun was as much a god as it was a harsh reality, the ancient Egyptians found a unique solution to shield their heads and necks from its scorching heat. These first wigs were a marvel of ingenuity and craftsmanship. They were constructed from a variety of materials, ranging from human hair to the wool of sheep and even from plant fibers. Each wig was meticulously crafted, strand by strand, in a process that reflected the skill and patience of its creator. While they were primarily worn to provide a protective covering from the sun, these wigs were not merely utilitarian. They were also expressions of art, of beauty, and of personal, personal identity. In ancient Egyptian society, wigs became a marker of social standing. They were more than just an accessory. They were a testament to one's position in society. The more elaborate and intricate the design of the wig, the higher the wearer's place in the societal hierarchy. Not all wigs were created equal. 
The choice of materials, the complexity of design, and the level of craftsmanship all contributed to the value of these hair accessories. The most magnificent of these wigs were reserved exclusively for the pharaohs and the upper class, a class that prided itself on its refined tastes and unapologetic opulence. These elite members of society wore wigs that were true works of art, often adorned with precious jewels and gold. These extravagant hairpieces served not just as practical head coverings, but also as potent symbols of power, wealth and divinity. But it wasn't just the adults who donned these wigs. We also find evidence of children and infants wearing smaller, simpler versions. It seems that the tradition of wig wearing was deeply ingrained in the fabric of ancient Egyptian society, cutting across age and gender lines. In the grand hair story of humanity, wigs have a hairy special place. Their tale begins in the ancient land of Egypt, where they served as a protective covering from the searing sun. Constructed from human hair, wool and plant fibers, these initial hair accessories were not merely utilitarian, but also a symbol of social standing. The most intricate designs were reserved exclusively for the pharaohs and the fast forward to the 17th century, and wigs were the main event in Europe. This era marked a time when the art of creating and wearing wigs evolved into something that was far more than just a hair accessory. It was an era in which wigs became a significant status symbol, signifying wealth and prestige. These were not just any ordinary wigs, though. They were periwigs, often intricate in design, usually lavishly constructed and always eye-catching. Periwigs, or perukes as they were also known, were more than just an accessory. They were an emblem, a flashing, vibrant beacon of one's wealth, social standing and position. They were ornate and often extravagant, reflecting the wearer's tastes, personality and, most importantly, their social standing. The wealthier the individual, the more lavishly decorated the wigs they wore. This was to make a statement, to show the, to show the world their superiority, to flaunt their affluence. The grandiosity of these periwigs was a marvel, a spectacle in itself. They were often crafted with an attention to detail that was second to none. The materials used, the intricate designs and the creative process behind them all contributed to their value. Ivory combs, satin ribbons, silk threads and even gemstones were often incorporated into the periwigs, further amplifying their lavishness and opulence. Now, it is worth noting the remarkably interesting dynamics of the wig-making industry during this time. The wig makers, once seen as mere barbers, found themselves propelled to prominence as their craft transformed. Wig making moved beyond being just a trade. It turned into an art form, coveted and admired by the aristocracy and the elite, the aristocracy and the elite. The craftsmen became artists, their patrons, their muses. Wig makers of the 17th century therefore found themselves in a unique position. They were no longer just humble barbers, but artisans of a highly respected craft. The cultural shift had turned them into figures of importance, sought after by those who sought to make a statement with their appearance. The once humble barbers became craftsmen of grandeur, artists of a unique form of self-expression, and creators of a symbol of power, wealth and status. And so the tale. It is a story of transformation, of cultural evolution and of the power of appearances. A tale of how a simple hair accessory became a powerful symbol of wealth and status. Fast forward to the present day and we can still see the impact of these historical trends. We can see the legacy of the 17th century periwigs in our modern society, where hair continues to be a symbol of self-expression and status. But for now, let's return to where we began. Fast forward to the 17th century, and wigs were the main event in Europe. These lofty masterpieces, known as periwigs, were a symbol of wealth and rank. The more extravagant the wig, the higher the wearer's social station. Wig makers, once humble barbers, gained prominence as their craft turned into a coveted art form. As the centuries rolled on, wigs fell out of fashion, only to emerge once more in the 20th century, thanks to Hollywood's hair-raising demands. The ebb and flow of time saw many trends come and go, yet wigs, a seemingly simple adornment, experienced a unique journey of their own. With the passage of time, they evolved, transformed and adapted to the changing world around them. 
Through the lens of history, wigs were seen as much more than just a fashion accessory. They held positions of power and influence symbolizing wealth and status. They were the crowning glory of pharaohs in ancient Egypt, a mark of nobility in the European Renaissance, and an emblem of prestige in the Georgian era. However, like all things, their popularity dwindled and wigs gradually disappeared from mainstream fashion. But that's not where the story ends. As the world entered the 20th century, a new chapter began for wigs. In an era where the silver screen reigned supreme, the demand for diverse and dramatic hairstyles in Hollywood saw the revival of wigs. Highly recognized actors and actresses donned these hair pieces, sparking a wave of wig fascination. The movie industry's influence was such that it breathed new life into this age-old accessory, turning it into a modern fashion staple. With the rise in popularity, the wig industry experienced a boom like never before. Producers and manufacturers worldwide capitalized on the trend, rapidly expanding their businesses. This surge wasn't just the result of Hollywood's demands of Hollywood's demands, but also the product of a consumer-driven world. Wigs began catering to a broader audience, encompassing not just the elite and the famous, but also the common man. The industry's scope continued to broaden in the latter part of the century. Wig manufacturers started catering to a vastly different demographic, those impacted by hair loss due to medical conditions or treatments. This shift marked a significant turning point for the industry. Wigs were no longer simply a fashion statement or a tool for dramatic transformations on screen. They became a beacon of hope and confidence for those grappling with the reality of hair loss. From cancer patients to those suffering from alopecia, wigs offered a solution, a chance to regain their former appearance and as a result, their self-esteem. These hair pieces became instrumental in restoring not just their physical appearance, but also their psychological well-being. The industry grew to recognize the importance of providing high-quality, natural-looking wigs for these customers, leading to advancements in wig-making techniques and materials. This expansion and evolution of the wig industry transformed it into a global enterprise, reflecting the changing needs and demands of society. Today, the wig industry is not just driven by the whims of fashion or Hollywood's demands, it is a multi-billion dollar venture that extends beyond borders, addressing the needs of individuals dealing with hair loss from medical conditions or treatments. Today, the wig industry is a multi-billion dollar global enterprise, not just driven by fashion, but also by the needs of individuals dealing with hair loss from medical. But the wig industry is not without its hairy situations. This captivating sector of the beauty industry which many may overlook, is riddled with intricate complexities, controversial practices, and puzzling paradoxes. For starters, have you ever wondered about the origin of the hair used in these wigs? It is a fascinating journey that often traverses multiple continents before reaching your local salon or online shopping cart. The procurement of human hair is a process steeped in controversy and ethical. The initial stage involves sourcing raw human hair, and this process is surprisingly complex and often shrouded in mystery. The hair is predominantly procured from lower socio-economic strata of society, typically from impoverished communities, both domestically and overseas. What's intriguing is that these locales range from small rural villages in India where hair is donated during religious festivals to urban centers in China, where it's not uncommon for women to sell their hair for a bit of extra income. This hair then embarks on a global journey, traveling thousands of miles, undergoing a series of treatments before it is transformed into the glossy, glamorous wigs we see on display. The ethical dilemma here arises from the exploitation of these vulnerable communities. While some hair donors are adequately compensated for their contributions, a significant portion is not. This disparity is deeply concerning and raises questions about fair trade and equity. The industry often justifies this by stating that the hair donation is voluntary or a religious offering. However, critics argue that given the economic context, the lines between consent and coercion blur. This brings us to the heart of the contentious debate the issue of exploitation. Some argue that purchasing hair from these impoverished communities provides them with a source of income. 
Opponents, on the other hand, argue that it's a form of exploitation disguised as economic opportunity. This debate intensifies further when solutions are suggested. Should the industry establish global standards and fair pricing? Should consumers boycott wigs made from unethically sourced solution more nuanced, requiring a comprehensive approach that includes education, awareness and tighter regulations? In addition to these ethical dilemmas, the wig industry also faces issues of sustainability, authenticity, quality control and more. From the environmental impact of the chemicals used in treating the hair to the authenticity of the hair being sold, the problems are as varied as they are complex. As we further dig into the world of wigs, we'll investigate these matters and beyond. Together, we will peel back the layers of this fascinating industry, illuminating the hidden corners and asking the tough questions. This journey through the world of wigs will reveal a realm that is as intriguing as it is controversial. Beyond the controversies, there's an undeniable artistry in wig making. It is an art form that has been passed down through generations, a tradition steeped in history and cultural significance. The wig makers are not just craftsmen, but rather they are artisans, weaving tales into each strand they select. There's a level of expertise involved that is not comprehended by the casual observer. Wig making as an art form transcends the merely physical. It's a dance between the human touch and the raw materials, a symphony played out through experienced hands. Each strand of hair is chosen meticulously, with a discerning eye, assessing the texture, the quality, the colour. The artisan must handpick the perfect strands, a process that combines the precision of science with the aesthetics of art. The chosen strands are then painstakingly assembled, strand by strand, into a cohesive whole. This is not a process to be hurried. It is a labor of love requiring an immense amount of patience. Each strand is a note in a larger composition, a pixel in a grander image. The artisan must have a steadfast spirit, an unwavering dedication to their craft. Each hairpiece is unique. It is crafted to tell a story, to portray a character, to evoke an emotion. The wig maker must take into account the intended wearer, the occasion, the setting. They must have an understanding, an empathy for the person who will don the wig. The hairpiece is a reflection of the wearer's identity, a symbol of their personality. The culture of wig making, or the hair tag, as it is fondly referred to, is marked by an intricate attention to detail. It's about more than just the hairpieces themselves. It's about the people behind them, the stories they tell, the emotions they evoke, it's about the pride in the craft, the joy in the creation, the satisfaction in seeing the completed work. These artisans bring a personal touch to their work, pouring their heart and soul into each creation. They're driven by a passion for their craft, a passion that shines through in the finished product. Their work is a testament to their skill, to their dedication, to their love for the art of wig making. Wig making is an intricate dance of details, a careful balancing act of strands and stitches. It's a world that exists in the space between the lines where each hairpiece is a story waiting to be told. Each hairpiece is a testament to the artisan's skill and dedication, a showcase of their love for their craft. From handpicking the perfect strands to the painstaking process of crafting a convincing hairpiece, wig making is a practice that demands skill, patience and an eye for detail. Looking ahead, the future of the wig industry is ripe with potential. The horizon of opportunities and advancement stretches far and wide. The wig market, once perceived as mundane, has now evolved into a progressive industry, teetering on the edge of remarkable growth and innovation. It's no longer about the basic idea of creating and selling wigs. It's not just about making a quick buck anymore. It's about making every strand count every style significant and every process impactful. This is a sector that is gradually breaking down barriers and confronting stereotypes. Wigs were once seen as a luxury or a sign of vanity, but they are now viewed as an integral part of modern day fashion and personal expression. Their acceptance has been on a steady incline with a broad audience that spans the globe and crosses cultural lines. No longer confined to the world of cinema or theater, they have found a home in everyday life, from enhancing personal beauty to providing a solution for hair loss. 
Wig making has moved beyond the hands of a few skilled artisans, becoming a force to be reckoned with in the global fashion and beauty industry. The push towards technology is allowing wigs to appear more realistic and comfortable than ever before. Innovations such as 3D printed before. Innovations such as 3D printed scalp caps and artificial intelligence created hairstyles have blurred the lines between artificial and natural. The science of hair growth, the technology of hair replication and the artistry of wig styling are merging to create truly indistinguishable and bespoke wigs. Concurrently, the surge in demand for ethical and sustainable practices cannot be ignored. A conscious audience demands transparency and responsibility from wig manufacturers. The industry is shifting towards ethically sourced materials and is investing synthetic hair produced from plant fibres to initiatives focusing on providing fair compensation for hair donors. The wig industry is stepping up to meet these expectations. Moreover, charities focused on providing wigs for those undergoing cancer treatments or suffering from various hair loss conditions have given the wig industry a humanitarian angle. These initiatives are not only furthering the industry's reach, but are also increasing its social responsibility and relevance. The wig industry isn't just changing, it's revolutionising. With a projected market worth of over $10 billion by 2023, it is clear that the future of this industry is not only promising but also exciting. It's a fascinating world where fashion meets technology, art meets science, and ethics meet business. The wig industry is continuously evolving to tackle these challenges. It's not just about adjusting to change, but about setting the pace for it, shaping the path, and ultimately leading the way. This dynamic industry is showing us that it's more than just hair. It's a movement, a testament to change, and a symbol of resilience and innovation. Looking ahead, the future of the wig industry is not only ripe with potential, but is also a beacon of transformation and progress. In conclusion, the wig industry has come a long way from its primitive roots. What began as a utilitarian answer to the unforgiving Egyptian sun has morphed into a world-spanning industry that intersects multiple aspects of human life, including fashion, entertainment, and personal requirements. This journey, while both intriguing and fascinating, is far from over, and we stand on the brink of witnessing more exciting developments. The evolution of wigs has been a hairy journey, but that's certainly not splitting hairs. The journey is filled with interesting facts, stories, and diverse cultural significance. Possibly the first recorded instance of wig use was in ancient Egypt, where they were used not only as a protection from the sun, but also as a status symbol. The higher the wig, the higher the wearer's rank. Over time, the wig industry has progressed and adapted, often reflecting the societal norms and standards of the period. Throughout the centuries, wigs have been adopted by numerous cultures for various reasons. In ancient Rome, wigs were worn by the nobility as a sign of status, while in the Elizabethan era, they were utilized to indicate wealth and prestige. In, in the 17th and 18th century, the trend of wig wearing reached a new height in Europe, becoming an essential part of haute couture. During this period, wigs evolved from simple coverings into elaborate powdered creations, with France's Louis XIV setting the trend with his love for large, extravagant wigs. The story of wigs is not just a tale of tresses. It's also a narrative of remarkable artistry, industry growth, and the complex interplay of supply and demand, ethics and aesthetics. As human hair wigs became increasingly popular, Due to their realistic look and feel, the demand for human hair skyrocketed, leading to various ethical issues related to sourcing and labour. The wig industry also tells a tale of technological and creativity. With progress in synthetic fibres in the 20th century, wig makers were able to develop wigs that closely replicated the look and feel of human hair at a fraction of the cost. This allowed wigs to be accessible to a broader demographic and not just a privilege for the affluent. Even in the 21st century, the wig industry continues to evolve. Today, wigs are not just for aesthetics or fashion. They serve a much greater purpose for many people suffering from hair loss due to medical conditions or treatments. It's a beacon of hope and an essential tool for boosting confidence and self-esteem. 
As the focus shifts from just aesthetics to include comfort and inclusivity, the wig industry is poised for more transformative changes. Already there are innovations the pipeline, like 3D printed wigs and smart wigs equipped with technology. As we look forward to the future of the wig industry, it's clear that this story is still under construction. The wig industry is a testament to human ingenuity, resilience, and the never-ending quest for self-expression and identity. It stands as a symbol of how a practical solution to a specific problem can evolve into an industry that touches the lives of millions of people across the